This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. job hunting the spammers are chasing you NDTV Hindu exposes the thriving recruitment scam swindling your money Jail Aditha reacts to NDTV Hindu's exposure in the Tamil Nadu housing board scam this is the opposition leader strong remark I have here you of the minority team in Kerala itself one big scam and on the mother of all scams the AIADMK reflects the parliament log sham Jayalalitha says they will stick to its stand for a JPC there is no change in our stand the AIADMK is firm in demanding a JPC Meanwhile, Alagiri springs up a surprise in the DMK camp, pushing Diana Di Maran. Is the chemicals minister trying to smoke the peace pipe with his nephew? Is your electricity meter reading the wrong units? Here is a report to power you through on what tenants should be aware of. Holiday declared for schools in Chennai on Monday. Heavy rains are predicted in the next 24 hours. Good evening, you're watching the late night news with me, Divya. Let's also bring you the national news making headlines. The IPL Governing Council gives the Kochi team a go-ahead. The new leadership patterns are found acceptable. President Sarkozy will meet Prime Minister over dinner. Nuclear liability and reactor deals are on top of the agenda. Airlines back down on the proposed fare bans. Fares to be rationalised by 25%. Karnataka Governor backs the Loka Yukta, says they are competent to probe the land scam. Well, a boom in many sectors across the country has catapulted a subsequent increase in the number of jobs. But some elements of the society have decided to take advantage of the boom in possibly the wrong way. We are talking about job consultancies that have transformed from being a service-oriented business to a money spinner one. Our reporter Krishnamurthy finds out how many consultancies in Chennai mint money in their business, writing on your misery. agencies tell you where the opportunities are. After all, that's their job. As the number of freshers who flock around them increase, consultancies appear to have started to exploit the situation. Joseph was one of the several victims NDTV Hindu spoke to. He says there's no follow-up after the process is started. But job agencies which fail to deliver continue to be in business without being punished and that's because police complaint could have published now and the case is alive and so just that question of you know whether the people come and report, you know, come and report and action can be taken against them. Collective action is very important in such cases to even prohibit. So as attorneys we cannot uh, you know go behind you have to come and complain to us, you have to come and report. So how should job seekers, especially freshers, identify the right agencies? Experts in the business stress on reputation. An individual job seeker need to do their homework. <laughs> they need to find out whether the company is a good company, whether the company is a reputed company. You know, just because somebody is asking, don't give large sums of money. Go for a company which has, a, which has a been there in the business, who have, who have a long track record, you know, who have helped find jobs for many people. How many people that they find jobs? What kind of companies are their customers? I think you can do this kind of homework, you can find out this, then I think you can, you can go forward. With a huge number of consultancies operating across the country who charge anywhere between 100 rupees to a month's salary for their consultation fees, victims are of the view that there is a need to keep a legal tab on them. They feel that this will ensure the accountability and transparency of companies. In Chennai, this is Krishnamurti for NDTV Hindu.
Well, Ms. Dorothy Thomas, an attorney with Kochar & Co, told us that though there are a number of laws and a safety net to protect job seekers, there is no basic regulatory to keep a tab on these consultancies. There are a gamut of laws that protect victims of consulting fraud. Uh, you can actually uh, approach um, under the Indian Penal Code for breach of uh, trust. Uh, there's fraud, there's cheating. You can go against them. And there is the Passports Act, which provides protection. There is the Foreigners Act. That's a, a Immigrants Act, which provides protection. But these are all protections granted if you're a victim of such fraud. But there's nothing that uh, protects you uh, in the base level, in the sense that before the fraud is being committed, some kind of a check and balance, some kind of a registration authority is not in principle there. But for recruitment agencies, which um, basically uh, deal with foreign recruitment, there is uh, the Ministry of Overseas Affairs has set up this wing, a uh, special wing called uh, Protector of Immigrants. So uh, these consulting companies who deal with the recruitment for overseas abroad placements so they have a standard are procedure that they are required are registered. to be registered. Absolutely. Mm. They are required to be registered. Not many uh, mm. candidates know anything about it. Mm. There is no education provided to the candidates mm. when they approach a consulting. So with these international uh, companies, it also, they also have a link up directly only with the company. They do not approach you directly. So there is no transaction of money between the person who is applying for the job and the job consultancy, which is how ideally is the contract that should go that way. Absolutely. And therefore, you know, the, the fact that there is evidence collection is so difficult in case something goes wrong because there is a main agent, there is a sub agent, there are various uh, various people involved in the line, mm -hmm. in the loophole. So, um, you know, candidates find it very difficult when they uh, when they are not offered what they were promised or sometimes they even go to the place placement, they, they realize that it's a totally different company. Mm -hmm. uh, they provided a placement, but then they are cheated on. Well, still ahead on the bulletin, if you are a tenant who is paying more money for electricity than the tariff set, you do not want to miss this story.